Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm working on an HP ProBook X360, the 11 G5 series. I'm going to show you how to get inside, access your battery. So first thing guys, power down the computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're then going to flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Now you have three screws on either side of my screen and this one in the middle right there. After you have removed all of those screws, we're going to flip the computer back over and we're going to take a small flat pry tool and go all the way around this seam right here. It's the seam between your palm rest and your bottom case and we're going to pry out the palm rest from inside the bottom case. So go all the way around nice and slow. If you get stuck in one area, leave it alone. Go to the other side and continue in the other direction. And then once you get the palm rest loose, don't just rip it off because you could break a couple ribbon cables. So this is my back of the computer right here. You can see the hinge assembly and I've taken this up and you can see this three ribbon cables that attach the palm rest to the motherboard. So you can't just rip that palm rest off. You've got to unattach these first. Now these type of ribbon cable connectors are very fragile and very breakable. So be very careful when operating these. There's a black retainer clip that's holding down the ribbon cable. That black clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from the ribbon cable side and the hinges are towards the back near the plug. So what you need to do is you need to take your small flat plastic pry tool, maybe your fingernail if you can get it in there, and gently pop up that black clip that's holding down the ribbon cable and then the ribbon cable will slide out and you do that to all three. Now I say these are very breakable because if you do break that black clip, you're most likely not going to be able to find a replacement for it, in which case your ribbon cable may not connect down securely anymore. So be very careful with those. But once you get those ribbon cables unconnected, you can remove your palm rest and this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. Now the battery is right here and it's got four screws. You can see these four white arrows near the four corners. Those are the four screws that hold the battery down. Uh, be careful right here because these speaker wires may weave into the battery. So be careful on just ripping that battery out. Make sure these wires are safely unattached from the battery. But once you get those four screws up, this plug, you just pull the battery right up and it unplugs from the motherboard right there. Now the battery specs for this computer, it's the HP part number is L12791-855. The model number is RU03XL. Um, below in the description, I will have a link. It'll have a lot of the tools and supplies that I use to access inside of this computer, but it will also have a list of the replacement and upgrade parts for this computer, including that battery. So if you need help finding that, it'll be below in the description in that link. But that's how you would access your battery in the ProBook 360 11 G5. So that's the video, guys. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or comment, please do. I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. To support the channel, please remember to like and share. Subscribe if you enjoy this type of DIY tutorials. And for those of you that want to support the channel a little further, you can always leave a small donation and there's a couple ways to do that. First, right below the video to the right hand side, you'll see the super thanks button. You can click on that. You can select a tip amount here. Second way, you can use your cash app. Find me at dollar sign PC helper. You can leave a dollar amount and you can even leave a little note. So thank you so much for watching guys and I look forward to seeing you on my next video.